teams in this hockey game. Handles the puck, and this will be Colby Saginaw here. Speed down the right side, he clipped his own man. Owen Johnson got in the way. Saginaw trying to shut things down and take advantage, they do. Theo Hill clears this home, 30 seconds left on the power play. Oh boy, it goes into the net, how about that? Oh, amazing. Downey trying to play it up ice. It goes off Owen Johnston in the back of the net. It'll be a shorthanded goal for Saginaw, and it's four to one. <laughs> oh, you don't see that very how, often. How often do you see that? Wow. And boy, that's just the kind of soul-crushing goal <laughs> for a visiting team. Wow. I, I, I couldn't even, it didn't register at first. I don't know if I've ever seen that in person. <laughs> You've seen it every once in a while on blooper reels at the NHL level. And for Downey, just bad timing. Looking up ice and he doesn't see Owen Johnston enter the frame, enter his eyesight. We'll see who's credited with the Saginaw goal as the Spirit fire it down ice. No icing with 20 to go. First shorthanded goal in quite some time for Saginaw. They have scored three unanswered, or they've been credited with three unanswered goals is probably the best way to put it. Waiting to see who gets the benefit of that one. Rosie, I can't think back long enough to see. Uh, <laughs> I don't know either. It was something you don't keep track of because you don't certainly expect it. Theo Hill. Goal number nine for the overager. Penalty time expires. The Spirit kill it off. Just a tough end to a tough night for the Otters. 126 to go here.